Hello, this is John O.T. In this tutorial, we will introduce the Spin Valve Bench software, take you on a quick tour of the user interface, and demonstrate a typical software session. Spin Valve Bench is a general purpose software that is geared primarily towards the design of Spintronic devices and sensors. It's a Microsoft Windows application and it's ideal for scientists and engineers that are interested in convenient design, analysis and optimization software. It has a minuscule learning curve. It computes coupled multi-physics problems that include magnetic material interactions, magnetoresistance, <coughs> thermal and spin torque effects. Let us begin with a typical startup screen of a spin valve bench session. This dialog box right here on display is the new design dialog box that assists with rapid creation of new designs. It gives you the option of starting a design completely from scratch when you select empty in the templates box or the use of several available templates to base your design on. As you select and enter in the templates box, an illustration of the design appears on this box to the right and a brief description of the design is displayed here at the bottom. Other inputs help you to characterize your new design further. You can learn more about this dialog box by clicking the help button. Let us create a design using a pseudo spin valve template. We request using single domain components by checking this box. This choice will produce a simple bare bones design concept that will compute very quickly. Let us click OK to exit the new design dialog box. With that, the start phase of the new spin valve bench session is complete. Our new design is displayed in this box, the system view window. This window here is the main spin valve bench control window. This is where we specify the design properties. Let us run a calculation on this device. We click the run button. The calculation starts. Let us pause it for a while by clicking the pause button. Notice that the pause button is reliable continue. So clicking it again continues the calculation. The run button on the other hand is, is, is relabeled to cancel job. Clicking it terminates the calculation. A simulation produces and displays an evolving sequence of magnetic states and output curves of the device based on design specifications. Here are output curves specified for the design. 
let us click continue to finish the calculation I will resume the narration when the calculation ends here we are at the completed calculation the control window is minimized and we repositioned and resized some windows uh, for clarity the output curves are fully plotted and the device is in its final solution state let us take a closer look at the control window let us bring it up this window consists of two main panes separated by this vertical panel which can be moved to resize the panes the left pane this one is the data category pane it consists of a node list representing different data input categories each node has an identifying icon associated with it the right pane this one is the data input pane as each node is clicked here appropriate data input areas are displayed to the right this first node the root node provides among other things an input field for specifying the descriptive name for the design and a choice of solver types as you can see uh, the calculation we just carried out was a quasi static calculation down here pressing this button resets the design to its initial magnetization state the design components node provides the means for adding and deleting for adding deleting and editing design components right clicking it displays a shortcut menu for carrying out these actions the components of the device are represented by sub nodes of the design components node these ones here the properties of a component are specified in the data input pane by clicking its sub node related component data are grouped under different tabs the system view window is continuously updated as we make changes to the components inputs scroll bars at the side and bottom are used to bring into view input fields as needed the electrical circuit node is used to define an electrical circuit for the design and the thermal node is used to define thermal stimulus the design is to be subjected to doing a calculation in the output curves nodes curves for the checked entries will be plotted during a calculation the externally applied field the design will be subjected to during a calculation is specified under the applied field node the views node provides convenient means for displaying different views of the define of the device uh, modifying its perspective rendering and for zooming in and out of the display we have already seen the run button in action if we click it with the run in background box checked the calculation will be run in the background freeing us up 
to continue interacting with the software normally. A tool for monitoring the progress of background jobs is available in the program. Always use the help button to learn how the various parts of the program work. Clicking it displays detailed context sensitive information about input fields. Much of the program's main menus play their usual roles in standard Windows applications. A specialized menu item in the Tools menu. This provides the means for launching various productivity tools and for accessing the Options dialog box, which can be used to set several aspects of the modeling environment to one's taste. Let us now repeat our calculation, but this time we will record it. The evolution of computational states of the design is stored as we record a calculation. This is very handy for effective post-computational analysis of designs. Recording is carried out using the controls of the record playback node. We prepare for recording by clicking this button. Its color changes to red, an indication that any calculation would now be recorded. Uh, let us introduce one last feature before proceeding with the calculation. Uh, this is the external field panel, which displays a three-dimensional view of the externally applied field. Let us select the applied field node and check this box, the Show Field Panel box. The External Field Panel window appears. Here it is. Uh, let us move it to a convenient location and let us rescale it by entering this input. Uh, this ensures that the field vector is fully contained in the panel during the window during the calculation. Back at the control window, let us go ahead and click the run button to repeat the calculation and record it. We will allow the calculation to run to completion and I will continue the narration after the calculation ends. The calculation is now done. Let us take a look at some of the playback functionalities. Here in the playback area, we can click the replay forward button, this one, to review the stored solution states in their normal sequence. Here we are. Uh, notice that the computer states are played back both in the system view window, the output curves, and the external field panel. Back in the control window, let us click stop to stop the playback. You can jump to a random playback frame by clicking the go to button. So we can specify a random frame here and click OK. Let's continue the playback. This subfoil summarizes the typical stages of a Spinball Bench session. With that, we come to the end of part one of the Spinball Bench tutorial. Here is a recap of what we have learned so far and a preview of what's to come in part two. Thank you.